Hi guys and welcome to video 32 in the But How Do It Know companion video series, the last video in this series. So that's it, we've built a fully functional 8-bit computer following John's design, one step at a time. We can write programs for it, we can also tinker with it if we want to. More on that later. Before moving along, I'd like to send some special thanks to John Clark Scott for writing this awesome book. Through it, I discovered the simplicity and the beauty of creating a basic but fully capable computer. If you still have not bought the book, please do it now. I also want to thank John for sharing the images from the book with me and giving me permission to use them in this video series. Now, if you want to take this project further, here are a couple of ideas that you can look into. First, adding or modifying instructions. The microcode architecture we used is pretty flexible in that regard, and we have three free control signals that we could use for new features. Also, we still have some space in our instruction table to insert new instructions. For example, the clear flags and jump instructions only use the case where the last four bits are zeros. So we could use the other cases to implement new instructions. An idea could be implementing a program stack, a link register, and a call instruction to allow our programs to use subroutines. Also, we could do more in the hardware. Admittedly, I use the Arduino quite a bit in this design to keep things simple. Here are a few examples of things that could have been done in hardware without too much trouble. The clock and stepper. Although a bit tricky, the clock could have been implemented using a 555 timer and the stepper using the actual circuit shown in the book or using a binary counter and a decoder. See Ben Eater's four excellent videos on building a clock. I'll put the links in the description box below. Also, we could have implemented the RAM using a RAM chip. I'll place a link below to a part that I think would be suitable for this. The microcode could also have been stored using an EEPROM chip. Again, see Ben Eater's video series on his 4-bit computer. That's how he does it. So that's all folks. I hope you learned something by watching these videos. And who knows, maybe we'll meet again for some videos about a different project in the future. Take care and keep on learning. <laughs>